quality condition she's going to need just to roll her sleeves up a bit here. There's a bit of bump to deal with, but Sally dealing with it really well. So uh, showing that pedigree that's kept her on the turf for so many years. Unable to hang on to that spot of the mid-year cut. She's looking to get back there right now. She's in live action. And taking a risk with a late manoeuvre into a lip line was Luana. And she'll go down. We are expecting that wind, the onshore wind, to push a little harder into the afternoon. But it's still very contestable out there and uh, plenty of waves on offer, Paul. Here goes Fitzgibbons. Live action from her. Straight into it. Nice jam and snap. Uses the shoulders to rotate around and get that board fanging down the line again. Recovers for a couple of hits and just making sure she hung on. That's the experience. Saw her get lower to her board just to finish off that maneuver. This was her second ride, the six. So this one was judged better than her first ride. Scoring a six for this lovely turn. Whips the tail around straight into another one making the most of the little pockety sections on offer out there Paul. A, a win at an event like this gets you 10,000 points on those rankings so uh, there's a lot up for grabs and at stake and we're fighting now for a spot in the quarterfinals. Here goes Silva swinging on a nice steep wall and able to get some good radius into that second turn the ball gets away from her she just pushes it away not pushing too hard, recovers underneath her. A very cool exterior, but that guy has got some big, big goals. Yeah, Kylie is here to win. That is clear. Here goes Sally. Bang, she'll tag the lip at speed. Just kind of check turn the first maneuver, making some room here. And again, that's really well done from her on the rail, pushing on the tail. The back foot straightens that back leg. Sally's really been busy. I like how she got this last wave under priority from uh, Luana and uh, just staying very, very busy. She's had the most number of weight. Enjoying competing and making heats. She's got a tough heat, though, up against this woman right here, Luana Silva. As that turn, she does arrive in late so well. Bit of a stock turn for her. Not totally convincing throughout that ride, though. That was her previous wave. This is Luana's scoring wave, the 513. Really busy there, and uh, I thought she got a little held up in that second. Very composed thus far with her three rides. Seems to be unlocking good speed through these inside sections. Just kind of squeezing the juice when it's available, when it's not. Being patient, she'll go again here. A little tentative opening into the wave. And then trying to build up a steep wall through to the inside, grabbing the rail. Release on the tail. It'll be just an incomplete maneuver under the white water for Fitzgibbons. Good energy here from her. He's cheering on Luana Silva with priority and with a bomb. Here she goes. The Brazilian off the bottom. Hooks it high and hard. And just slightly overdid it there. Lost it. So a missed opportunity for Luana Silva to throw points on the board. You know, she's back on the Challenger Series. Essentially, she got relegated here. Vibe's really good. She looks super positive and she's in full flow in this heat. And on this wave, opens up with a check snap, gets a touch caught, does well to get back on the gas here and accelerate. And goes into a section, pushing pretty hard to hit that lip, the finish, and again, another completion for Fitzgibbons, who's showing her class here. This is Sally's last wave. It didn't start off, it didn't look that great when she took off, but when it got into this section, it really stood up with a lot more potential. And as she comes through to the inside bank, she tags that end section. Hopefully not. An important wave that she'd fell on at the end if she gets another one. The other point, she's had a long time to think about that as well as we see Fitzgibbons just swinging on a smaller inside wave. I'm not sure there's loads on offer in here for Sal, but she doesn't mind. Wow! And she throws a progression, gets a nice ramp and does an air reverse over a section on the inside. So like we said, she's just surfing her way through this heat right now, picking up insiders. Let's get a look at it here. Right, check this out. Doesn't look like the greatest wave when she takes off. But as it hits that inside section, she identifies where she wants to ramp, pop the tail out, and you could see as she got into the rotation on this turn, she had a lot of control. She was well set over the board. All she really had to do was, Sally's going to get priority now, and, and uh, Luana now having to resort to catch the insiders. Yeah, here she goes, looking for the 7-7. Seven, seven. Nice hit from her. Some good spark, just not enough. Didn't see 7 on that. It's decent, but she needed a lot more where that came from. So let's see where this puts us score-wise and time-wise, crucially. But it's probably going to be a case of too little, too late, unless she finds a seven on this. And she'll hit it up off the tail. And you can see sort of dejected energy from her. It's not been her heat. And that one mistake proves so costly at this level. It's a bomb that 
she fell on and allowed this woman here to maintain dominance and Sally Fitzgibbons as she slides the tail. You can see the smile on her face.